When you look at what the market is looking at, so it's a little bit muted today. I think a lot of the focus is probably on you know, the, some of the policy on the Fed, but what could go wrong? Are you expecting a correction when it comes to equities? Right here and now, uh, we don't really, Francine, expect a correction. Uh, but I also don't think that the pace of upward move is uh, sustainable into the new year. Uh, we've seen a fantastic year again this year, um, at, uh, largely because of the stimulus of the Fed. Uh, we'll take a careful note of, of their minutes. My expectation is that they will come become a tad more hawkish, but not something that will upset markets uh, right here and now. So, uh, Michael, where do you see actually the biggest value? And, uh, you know, because of this indecision on inflation and exactly, you know, what kind of policy we could see and what kind of policy mistake we should worry about, what do you buy into? Well, we have a focus uh, right now on Europe. Uh, we've gone back to being overweight equities uh, after the sort of small dip in late this September into October, we, we went back in. As you know, we've had a pro-cyclical uh, sort of risk on a view ever since actually the, the lows of March last year. Uh, we're back into being long equities in Europe. Uh, Germany, uh, for example, is, is a country we're looking at. We like industrials uh, right now. We like financials. We like small caps in the US versus large caps, uh, sort of more, if you will, relative uh, alpha trades, because I, as I said, I, don't, I do believe this big, fast beta trade we've seen for 15 months, almost two years, that, that is, uh, that is uh, not realistic for the coming year. So, Michael, region by region, where do you see the best value actually right now? And do you like cheaper stocks, maybe Europe bond valuations, or are they the ones that could suffer the most? Look, so region by region, um, as I said, we have a particular focus on, on Germany, uh, but also uh, on Japan, uh, also a cyclical play, uh, quite uh, cheap uh, in our view. Uh, we like the UK uh, coming out of, of uh, if you will, the Brexit uh, sort of correction, the pound uh, get, was very cheap, is, is certainly has gone up, and has gone up uh, quite well, but it's UK is a, is a commodity oriented uh, country or market. Mm -hmm. It's, it is a value play. Um, we like countries uh, like South Africa, Indonesia, again, mostly because we believe in, in a strong economic uh, rebound and, and recovery into next year, too. And, and uh, those markets also focus tendentially on, on uh, commodities are, are interesting to us. Mm -hmm. And within fixed income, we're actually very selective uh, in, in developed world. We like sort of triple B uh, senior loan stuff in, in developed markets. And more regionally in Asia, uh, we like investment grades. Uh, and uh, uh, actually in, in hard currency bonds, China is, is one of the things that uh, we prefer. Um, Michael, when you look at some of the things you know, that we've been talking about day in, day out, I don't know what a policy mistake you know, does for equities or whether there's something else that we should be worrying about in the next couple of months. I don't. I don't think so. Uh, to, to be honest, I think, uh, of course, the central banks also don't have a crystal ball, and they're, they're waiting to see where these inflation numbers are going. Uh, that will drive a lot of the decision making uh, into the early next year. We have in our books uh, a rate hike by the Fed uh, towards the end of next year, and then probably 2023 they will pick up the pace to almost perhaps five steps uh, so that uh, we'll in the cycle maybe ending up at sort of 275 in, in the US. And with that, other central banks can follow, but the Fed will take the lead and, and, and the others can only really follow uh, because the currency relations. And I, I don't think now uh, Jay Powell is, is, is uh, reconfirmed. I, I think their script is, is pretty clear, and that is they want to normalize. Um, and our view is that they're not on a path for, for a, a policy mistake.